Hello, Susan Mumford here, and welcome to the eighth in a 10-part video series called Making It as an Artist in the 21st Century. This series is ahead of a course of the same name, led by yours truly and starting September 19th. After you watch this video tip, be sure to check out full details via this very webpage. So last week we addressed how to effectively engage your growing audience and today we're looking at the selling of art. The thing about this subject is that art sales are not only a major income stream for most artists, it's also impact for, for selling more art down the road at higher prices. Successfully selling art results in boosting your confidence. The more you sell, the more you sell more. So what I want to do is I want to give you three key pointers for selling art in this video. The first tip is this. To get started, sell to family, friends, colleagues, former colleagues, peers, neighbors, you get the picture. My very own art sell of one of my own photographs was as a teenager to a teenager peer in a classroom. What happened is he inquired about, about purchasing a silver gelatin photograph, and when he asked about the price, I said, Yes, it's available, and I've made up the price on the spot of $5. This confirmed that people valued my work enough to actually pay something for it. And as small an amount as that was, and as young as I was, there's a translation to being out in the world as a professional. The second tip applies to artists at all stages of career, and here it is. It's easiest to sell to your existing clients. Now, going back to that story of my sell to somebody as a teenager, he actually ended up acquiring his second work of art. What happened was he saw another photograph that he liked. He already knew what it was like to, to buy from me. He knew it was a pleasurable experience. And so when he saw it, he asked, could I please buy that one as well? And so I sold him a second piece. On a simple level, this is really representative of selling works to collectors even thousands and the trick for you in selling art is to remember to individually reach out to those existing clients as they are your best clients and give them VIP treatment. The third tip is having a make it happen attitude. Someone not reply to you? Follow them up. Need to come up with a payment plan for someone to make it possible for them to buy a work of art? Do it with terms. Having a make it happen attitude makes a world of difference when it comes to successfully selling art. Sound good? Learn more about selling art in the forthcoming course, Making It as an Artist in the 21st Century. Click the link on this very page to freely register your place. As for next week's video tip, we'll be addressing developing professional partnerships and collaborations. Stay tuned via the Be Smart about art mailing list at besmartaboutart.com, via social media at besmartaboutart, and of course the YouTube channel. Art is your life, make it your living.